This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, April 24th. I'm James Spann. Have some storms approaching northwest Alabama late tonight. Those will weaken rapidly as they move in. The big story is early next week with that dual risk of heavy rain and severe storms. A lot of new model data in, so a lot to talk about. Let's go in there and do it. We'll start with the current weather, and hey, it looks pretty good. That's the uh, sky cam coming from Chihaw State Park. Uh, bright, sunny weather there in East Alabama. Up in the northwestern part of the state, that's our sky cam from Hamilton High School in Marion County. And down south, ooh, doesn't that look inviting? The Alabama Gulf Coast, the old redneck Riviera, as seen from our sky cam on top of the Phoenix All Suites. What a beautiful, beautiful scene. Pretty vigorous shortwave coming through the southern Plain states. That's uh, starting to fire up some storms north and west of Alabama. That's the Little Rock radar at 108. The uh, guys at SPC are putting up a severe thunderstorm watch for our friends there. Uh, looks like hail could be the primary threat, and we'll keep an eye on that. Hey, look at the low and mid-80s on the board today. Montgomery 83, Birmingham 80, and those were actually captured at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Looks like some spots will rise up uh, above that. And even warmer weather by the weekend. We're expecting the warmest weather so far this year by Saturday and Sunday. Watch warning map. Pretty quiet. Uh, we note we've got some winter weather advisories for the Sierra Nevadas out in California. Slight risk of severe weather. That's the standard risk. All of Arkansas and many of the adjacent states. That does cut into the northwest corner of Alabama. From about Huntsville and Hamilton north and west. The higher severe weather possibilities are centered around Memphis and the Mississippi River Delta for tonight. And again, we'll take a look at the situation and modeling here in just a moment. Tomorrow, a slight risk of severe weather on the Atlantic coast, eastern parts of North Carolina, up into Virginia, around uh, Virginia Beach. Day three, this is Saturday. Standard slight risk of severe weather from the Rio Grande on up through parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. And, of course, this is the outlook we are paying close attention to this is the day four through eight outlook and uh, you can see a pretty good chunk of alabama in a risk on day five but the new guidance coming in this morning throws some uncertainty into all of this involving the timing and everything else it's still early you know we, we warn you every time you see new runs come in they're going to flip and flop a little bit but we'll take a look at the data here in just a moment Here's the rain coming from the WPC guys, uh, and they're suggesting rain amounts of four, maybe five inches across the northern quarter of the state. And this is raw output coming off the uh, GFS earlier this morning. Those darker shades of red, that's over three inches. And uh, looks like it's trying to print maybe a spot of five inches uh, a little northeast of Birmingham. So clearly, heavy rain is going to be a factor one way or the other, whether you see severe weather or not uh, early next week. All right, let's look at the situation tonight. This is the high-res NAM, valid at uh, 12 midnight, 05Z. And you can see that batch of storms moving into the northwestern corner of the state at that point. Don't expect any problems prior to that. This is the instability, and this is actually at uh, 09Z. This is 4 a.m. coming off the NAM, and it shows a little strip of higher instabilities over the northwestern corner of the state. And this is the shear profile showing 30 knots of low-level bulk shear between the surface and 925 millibars. Uh, but thankfully, the upper support is waning as we go through the early morning hours and the storm should weaken. And then by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, the uh, NAM is showing a dying batch of showers coming through uh, Birmingham and Aniana. And uh, any of these lingering showers tomorrow morning should be over by 8 or 9 o'clock. The rest of the day should be mostly sunny. So again, in terms of this thing tonight, we could see a few strong storms around the shoals about midnight. And then after that, the storms will weaken and we'll just have a band of dying showers early, early tomorrow morning. Uh, this is the upper chart tomorrow. You can see the uh, uh, short wave lifting out uh, north and east of the state and down below that. Once those early morning showers end, uh, the day should be mostly sunny. Uh, really a beautiful day throughout the midday and afternoon hours with a high in the upper 70s. Both models showing 79. All right, weekend fans, this is Saturday. Should be a glorious day here, sunny and warm. The GFS showing 84. Uh, the air very dry, no chance of rain. The sky will be sunny. We note the pressure gradient tightening up over the Great Plains, the Southern Plains. That's where severe storms could form late Saturday or Saturday night. But again, our day will be beautiful. And this is Sunday, and clearly that is problematic for a late April day. Big negative tilt trough coming out of the Rockies. 
down below that, a 984 millibar surface low over Nebraska with a dry line extending down I-35. And clearly, uh, severe weather is likely along and east of the dry line. This might be the most active severe weather day, uh, Sunday west of the state. Uh, places really east of I-35, like Tulsa, Longview, Texas, Shreveport, uh, Kansas City. Uh, those cities at risk of severe weather Sunday around here. The day should be warm and dry. Again, mid-80s, the GFS showing 86. And probably we'll see high clouds increasing late in the day. Now, this is Monday, 1 o'clock Monday afternoon. The surface low is just not moving much. It's still 988 millibars, but it's way up there on the South Dakota-Nebraska border. Uh, really, for a classic severe weather deal, you'd like to see that a little closer to us. But still, uh, we'll watch that. And, and note now the run is slower. You know, the, the run we showed you earlier had this big mass of storms coming in Monday morning. This is kind of holding it off. This is Monday night at uh, uh, just after midnight, 1 a.m. Tuesday. Surface low is still up there north of Omaha, Nebraska. And you can see the storms just creeping into Alabama. Really, uh, the rain just getting into Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Gadsden. Uh, so this m run really is slower for a pretty good chunk of the state. But clearly at that point, there could be some stronger, severe storms. And then Tuesday, it's still pouring rain. And that's one of the problems here. This is a very slow-moving deal, and we could have hours of very heavy rain falling uh, Monday night or Tuesday. And again, this is suggesting the rain here where we are, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, could linger well into the day Tuesday. And it could be more of a Tuesday problem when it comes to severe weather. That's why... It's just too early in the game to be really specific or be alarmed or to you know set certain parameters here. Uh, we'll start making specific calls really tomorrow. Look at the instability. Now, this is Tuesday. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, this is April 29th at OZ. So this is Tuesday evening. And uh, we've still got some decent capes around here. In fact, the instabilities exceed... Uh, what, 2,000 joules where you see the yellow shades there. That's very uh, unstable. Uh, this is the bulk shear Tuesday evening. And again, you know, these numbers are not overwhelming, but where you see 30 knots of bulk shear in the low levels, again, this is just between the surface and 925 millibars. That's one of my favorite parameters for looking at tornado potential. It certainly could mean some tornado activity. It's not overwhelming. And the low-level jet... You know, it's it's adequate, uh, you know, 40 knots. I see a few spots, maybe a 50-knot winds uh, Tuesday around that large-scale upper low. Uh, but clearly, you know, timing this thing out, we just can't do that right now because of model inconsistency. Uh, we've had some runs that bring it in Monday morning. Other runs like this delay it really until Monday night and even during the day Tuesday. But uh, no doubt there will be some risk of severe weather and some risk of heavy rain and flash flooding. The magnitude of this severe weather threat is just hard to define right now. Uh, I would say really of the two threats, I would say flooding might be the biggest issue based on this uh, this latest run here. This is Wednesday. We're finally dry slotted. The surface low is over southern Michigan. And uh, here's Thursday, a week from uh, today. Big upper low that's uh, west of Chicago. And uh, down below that, we are cool and we are dry as we continue to be in the dry slot. Uh, highs would... Uh, uh, drop back, but again, this run not as cool as other runs for midweek. In fact, uh, it's still got highs on uh, uh, Wednesday and Thursday in the 70s here. So, you know, we'll keep an eye on things. What there uh, later, this is May the 6th. Looks pretty wet. And the end of the forecast on May 10th got ridging here with. Uh, the heavier rain off to the uh, west. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.